Today's readings for Saturday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time offer us a profound reflection on the nature of God's kingdom and our role within it. In the first reading from Micah 2, verses 1 to 5, we hear a prophetic warning against those who exploit and oppress the poor. The prophet Micah condemns the wealthy elite who use their power to take advantage of the vulnerable, and he foretells a day of reckoning when God will bring justice to the land. This passage serves as a stark reminder of our responsibility to care for the marginalized and to work towards creating a more just and equitable society. The Gospel reading from Matthew 12 verses 14 to 21 presents us with a poignant scene in which Jesus, aware of the Pharisees' plot to kill him, withdraws from the public eye and begins to minister in a more hidden way. This passage highlights the humility and selflessness of Jesus, who refuses to seek glory or recognition for himself, but instead focuses on serving others and bringing healing to those in need. As I reflect on these readings, I am struck by the contrast between the values of God's kingdom and those of the world. The prophet Micah's words remind us that God's kingdom is built on justice, compassion, and equality, whereas the world often prioritizes power, wealth, and status. Jesus' example in the gospel shows us that true greatness is not about seeking recognition or glory, but about serving others and living a life of humility and love. Today's readings invite us to examine our own values and priorities. Are we living in accordance with the values of God's kingdom, or are we caught up in the pursuits of the world? Are we using our gifts and resources to serve others, or are we seeking to elevate ourselves above others? As I go about my day, I pray that I may be inspired by the examples of Micah and Jesus. May I strive to build a world that is more just, compassionate, and equitable, and may I humbly seek to serve others rather than seeking to elevate myself. May God's kingdom come, and may I be a faithful servant of that kingdom.